Hello, it is week 11 of our series of CSA unboxing videos. It is later in the day than I usually do these because uh, there's been a lot of chainsaws in the neighborhood today and I've been waiting for it to quiet down a little bit. So I am literally going to be surprised when I look in our box of goodies from Kent Family Growers that we picked up this morning at the Canton Farmers Market because I cannot remember everything that we got. So let's see, first of all, what we did with the vegetables we got last week. So once again, I did not take a lot of pictures of food that I cooked this week. I did make uh, salsa, or I used to call it salsa, now I call it pico de gallo because somebody told me that's what it's really called when you don't cook it. Speaking of cooking, I did cook some chicken and some corn on the grill. And now let's take a look what is in this uh, mystery box uh, for me today. Let's see, let's go. Uh, first off, oh, uh, I want to go this way. Uh. A pint of tomatillas that I have been toying with getting for the last couple weeks that they were available. Haven't used these in a long time. When I lived in North Carolina, we used to get tomatillas all the time and roast them in the oven and then use them for uh, making a salsa. And this week we have been making a lot of, I guess, pico de gallo because we don't cook it. We're making a lot of that uh, because um, we went to a friend's house. You know, the, the second best thing to having a CSA is having a friend with a giant garden. And we were at a friend's house uh, last weekend and came home with tons and tons of tomatoes and fresh sweet corn and uh, some giant Hubbard gourd or squash, Hubbard squash, uh, all sorts of great stuff. And so we've been enjoying that all week. And I saw the tomatillas and I said, oh, I can take my uh, pico to another level with these. So we'll see what happens. What else do we have here? Oh, my favorite, a um, head of red lettuce. Didn't get lettuce last week for the first time in 10 weeks. I did not get lettuce, so I had to make up for it this week and pick that up. Can't wait to get into making a salad. Maybe later tonight, probably very late tonight. What else do we have? A head of green cabbage. I picked this up specifically because I got the red cabbage last week and I never did anything with it. So now I've got some carrots, I've got some green cabbage, and I've got some red cabbage, so I'll be able to make a really beautiful coleslaw. And that is what I'm going to do sometime this weekend. Probably not tonight, but sometime this weekend. Trying to keep things balanced over here. Oh my gosh, this is a, a fun selection. Some peppers, red. Oh, the, is that red? That's green. Red. Be careful with me at stoplights. Uh, <laughs> yes, and yellow. Um, so we got these little, I, I'm guessing these are habaneros of some sort. I meant to look in the email that we get to uh, figure it out, but all sorts of great looking peppers that again, in our Pico de Gallo salsa kingdom, we'll be having some fun with this week. Let's see, um, oh, crunch, I got a head of bok choy. Um, we got this uh, a couple of weeks ago, or several weeks ago actually, and, uh, and uh, great in salads and uh, sautés and stir fries and things like that. So we've got a head of bok choy. Let me see, let's pull, oh, you know what? Sweet corn, gotta talk about sweet corn. Um, this share went up this week. It's been uh, four years for most of the time that the sweet corn's been available. And this week it was five years of corn. So somebody gets an extra ear of corn tonight or uh, tomorrow. We, at our friend's garden, they had lots and lots of sweet corn. We brought it back and we discovered, um, had never done this before, but microwave corn cooking. Um, I like cooking sweet corn on the grill. Uh, everybody else in the house likes it in a you know pot of water, but we'd never done a microwave and it's so easy and it comes out so good. You chop the end of the corn off, the stalk end. Uh, you gotta kind of get into the first row of kernels and um, stick it in the microwave for like four minutes. 
and pull it out and it squeezes right out. All the silk stays inside the husk, ready to eat. A little hot, but really good. So um, getting down to the bottom here, picked up some, I believe these are uh, snow peas or peas anyway, uh, a big beanie pea thing. Got a bunch of these. Uh, we've been getting the yellow beans uh, for the last couple of weeks, so this looked like it would be a good change. Lots and lots in there. I like these uh, lightly stir-fried. Um, I guess they'd be good steamed as well. We'll find out. And last but not least, definitely not least, the third type of melon that we have gotten this year. We started out getting the yellow melons, which were so delicious, and then last week, it was a red melon, uh, a seedless red melon. And I know I'd said earlier in the year that I thought that seeded melons were sweeter and more delicious than ones without seeds, but you know what? That one without seeds was just yummy. So I'll be interested to see how this comes out. Again, nice, big, heavy, good looking melon. And so that's what we have in our CSA this week. We'll be back next week to take a look at all the wonderful things we were able to do with the vegetables we got this week. And of course, we'll be looking at the vegetables we get next week, which will be September. So the season is winding down and just getting better.